Hello student. In this part, we will discuss on mega sporogenesis. Mega sporogenesis. What is mega sporogenesis? In the ovule, to ask the micropylar and one mega spore mother cell which is deployed present. During the meiosis division, this deployed mega spore mother cell breaks down or divides into four haploid cells. And those four haploid cells are known as megaspore. The formation of haploid megaspores from a deployed megaspore mother cell megaspore mother cell you can also write that MMC MMC represents microspore mother cell as well as megaspore mother cell but in female megaspore mother cell and in male pollen getting together microspore mother cell microspore mother cell and megaspore mother cell both are deployed but we in, in this part we discuss megaspore megasporogenesis means formation of applied megaspores from a deployed megaspore mother cell that is called megasporogenesis to ask the micropylar end a deployed megaspore mother cell megaspore mother cell present which contain a prominent nucleus and cytoplasm which contain a prominent means distinct nucleus and dense cytoplasm dense cytoplasm just like this one structure this is the ovule or embryo sac you can see that or nucleus this is the nucleus and it contains it also contains cell This the nucleus contains cell. Suppose this is the micropylar end. This one is micropylar end. And just we know that just opposite to the micropyle that is calazel end. Calazel end. In the ovule or nucleus there is a dense or you can say that a deployed mother cell present which contain a Dominant, uh, prominent, prominent nucleus and dense cytoplasm. This one is the suppose this is the, the uh, pro, uh, prominent nucleus and it contains dense cytoplasm. This one is megaspore, deployed megaspore mother cell, which contain a prominent nucleus and dense cytoplasm. This megaspore mother cell is present towards the Micropylar end. After the meiosis process, meiosis process in which a diploid cell breaks down into four haploid cells. Then it breaks down or divides into four haploid cells. Just like in this one, mucilus, it contains cell. After the meiosis, a diploid mother cell, megaspore mother cell, divide into four haploid cells. These four haploid cells, three remain for the micropylar end. This one is micropylar end. In a linear structure, one cell, second cell, third cell. There is cytoplasm, it also contains. And fourth cell, one remains to have the calazel end. Three cell remains 
these are the three cells remains linear towards the micropylarate and one remains towards the chalicerate these micropylar and cell these three cells non functional they have not any function so these are non functional due to non functional they, they degenerate these cell degenerate clear after the meiosis process a diploid megaspore mother cell breaks down into four haploid microspores these are the sorry not microspore megaspores the three cells which remain towards the micropylar end are non functional due to non functional they easily degenerate one cell which remains towards the chalicerate end this cell is functional and this functional cell form the gametophyte gametophyte then this cell also take place in the next division process what is megasporogenesis formation of megaspore from the haploid megaspore from the diploid megaspore mother cell that is called megasporogenesis in megasporogenesis means megaspore mother cell that is present toward the micropylar end which contain prominent nucleus and then cytoplasm due to the meiosis process this megaspore mother cell breaks down into divide into four haploid cell four haploid megaspore three remains to are the micropyle which are the non functional and due to non functional they easily degenerate one remains to are the chalicerate end that is the functional which change into gametophyte after gametophyte suppose this is the gametophyte in gametophyte again division can take place so that one cell divide into two daughter cell one gametophyte change the two gametophytes as the two cells produce both cell goes opposite to the other one opposite pole pe chali jati jaise hi cell mein division hota hai yahan division hua aur division ke pashchat gametophytes do cell banti hain ek se do aur do cell dono goes to opposite pole again division this is the first division second division after second division there may be four cells are produced from two to four both the cells present at the opposite pole and again third division can take place as the third division can take place they form the eight cell eight nucleus sorry eight nucleus out of one nucleus from each side comes to the center one cell two 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 four four to eight is a seed banti hai this suppose this is the chalicerate end this one is chalicerate end then this one is micropylar end as the eight cell for produce three cells remains towards the antipodal uh, three cell remains towards the chalicerate end three nucleus contains remains towards the chalicerate end these three are known as antipodal the three nucleate which remain to are the chalicerate end known as antipoda and three to as the micropyle which are known as agapatus these three are known as agapatus and these three are known as antipodal to as the chalicerate end antipodal to as the micropyle these are called egg apparatus egg apparatus consists two parts इस एग अपर्टस में न्यूक्लियस जो होते हैं न्यूक्लियस जो होते हैं वो दो प्रकार के होते हैं वन दैट इज मेन एग मेन एग एंड द अदर ये दीज आर टू दे आर नोन एज सीनर्जी एग अपर्टस कंटेन कंटेन्स मेन एग एंड टू सीनर्जी वन मेन एग एंड टू सीनर्जी सो थ्री न्यूक्लियटर रिमेन्स फॉर द माइक्रोपालर एंड विच आर नोन एज एग अपर्टस Out of three, two are synergid and one is main egg, and three nucleate to are the chalicerate end, which form the antipodal cell. Out of four, each side one nucleate come to the center, and these two are known as polar nuclei. Polar nuclei. 
How many polar nuclei? Two. One from each side comes into the center. Those makes the polar nuclei. Pollen tube as the pollen tube enters, uh, pollen germ cell enters through the pollen tube through micropyle. This is the small pore. The small pores in the ovule through the pollen grains or germ cell enters into the ovule that is called micropyle. Clear? So, in this structure, there are seven celled eight nucleate structure produced. Seven celled eight nucleate. How eight nucleus? Three nucleus and three to four, uh, five and three eight. Eight nucleus. But there are seven cells. Seven cell. How the seven cell? This one is a three cell. This one is three cell. Three three six. And polar nucleus count the single cell. So it forms seven celled eight nucleus structure. Question will be asked to you. Draw the seven celled eight eight nucleus structure. What is mega sporogenesis? We have already studied. And one more thing which we have already uh, remaining which is the remaining part of the previous part microsporogenesis again i am revise revise to you microsporogenesis formation of microspore male germ cells hoti hain jo pollen grain banayi thi formation of microspore haploid microspore kahan se a diploid microspore mother cell se jab diploid microspore mother cell mein meiosis division hota hai तो हेप्लाइड माइक्रोस्पोर बनते हैं एंड दैट प्रोड्यूस कार्ड माइक्रोस्पोरोजेनेसिस क्लियर